She's a Lamaz expert and a midwife. Karibu sana to K24 TV. Now let's begin by how does low supply of milk in the breast come about? Thank you. Good evening, viewers. Now, low supply of milk comes about uh, when the women, actually this could be women thinking they don't have enough milk. And this comes about because baby breastfeeding, some mothers think maybe the baby is not having enough milk. Now, there are some women who would actually say, oh, my baby is breastfeeding and not actually getting enough. And we will know the baby is not getting enough. One, they will not be passing enough urine. You know, it, there will be no much change of diapers because we say a baby is passing urine well should be like six wet diapers in 24 hours. And then the babies will be crying and, because they are hungry. Now, those mothers who do not produce enough milk, a lot of it, it could be anxiety from the mother herself. Anxiety, the mother is not sleeping well, and uh, feeding, no, okay. Women think maybe they're not feeding enough, but in my experience and what has been in the books is milk is not a stomach issue. Milk is a brain issue. That means if a mother is anxious, and the mother is not sleeping enough, resting enough. Maybe there's too much, you know, house chores, and the baby's crying too much. Then they will have low supply of milk. So you say but it's psychological, milk is, also yes. stress can... Stress, yeah, stress can do that. So th that goes to my second question, the possible yes. causes of this. You see, for a long time we've been thinking women, African women maybe, when they deliver they don't have these, these uh, blues. So if the women have those blues, they, they are anxious they lack self-esteem. I've had this baby and I'm wondering, this is a whole human being. Am I competent? Am I competent to bring up this child? You know, those little, little anxieties. And then maybe they don't have, today we, our, our social fabric is really not, not there. So I, this woman, first time mother, alone in the house, the husband has gone to work. Maybe our neighborhoods, we are not even talking to each other. I don't even know them. So I don't have any expert to tell me, no, you're on the right track. No, you are doing well. So that could bring anxiety. And as long as I have anxiety or even worries, my baby could choke. My baby might go to sleep and it doesn't wake up. That will actually finish the milk in the brain. If you don't have support system, you don't have somebody to take the house chores, you will find this woman getting uh, stressed because of the house chores and anxiety of actually even being able to take care of this baby. And probably also the latching issues could bring that lack of loss of milk. Mm -hmm. Maybe Nerea you could tell us how can one increase you know the milk supply in the breasts? So since I talked about stress, let these women be less stressed. Let the social fabric, the mothers, the relatives, let them be around. Let somebody be able to assist this mother with the house chores so that she's there with her baby just to start to, to breastfeed. And breastfeeding is established immediately. In fact we talk about 30 minutes after the baby has been born let the mother and the baby be together. Let them start breastfeeding. Let the baby start breastfeeding. That way, then there will be let down of the milk and the mother will now start establish breastfeeding. Once they establish breastfeeding, then the milk will be demand and supply, baby taking enough, there will be enough milk being made by the breast because as the breast empty is the way they now manufacture more milk. Mm -hmm. So if this mother, if they are not able to latch, Sometimes maybe the, the nipples are cracked and the mother is scared of putting the baby on the breast. Not even scared, it is a painful thing. So if they are avoiding to breastfeed because of the, the pain that they are having, because they didn't latch the babies well, then that fear will make them postpone breastfeeding. And as long as they are postponing breastfeeding, then they will not have enough milk. Mm -hmm. So let them, let every mother know that there is a support she can get of supporting her with breastfeeding so that when she experiences that kind of problem, she can get some help. Because when the nipples are crushed yeah. or because of the poor latching, yeah. then there's a way we express the milk, we give with cup and spoon so the breast can heal. There is something called nipple shield, but that one now will be discussed on another day. Okay, I'm not a mother yet, Nerea, but mm. is, is it true that there are some medications like some tablets you can, you can swallow to increase mm. your milk supply? Tablets, I know there are, there are some foods. There are some food that women will take. Okay. Women will, some women will take injahe hair and they'll have, and this is very individual. Mm -hmm. we, might be like, we might be breastfeeding, you take injahe hair and you realize a lot of milk, I take injahe hair and nothing happens. 
I take omena and have so much milk, you take omena and there's no much milk. So it, it, different foods will give women a different experience in terms of so much milk in their breasts. Mm -hmm. Yes, Oats as well, I think. Oats is yes, very yes. important. Oats. There, there are so many, some will talk about the green tea or whatever it is. There are so many herbs out there people just put in place. But me, I would say, as long as a woman is breastfeeding well, demand and supply. Baby taking enough milk, once the breasts are empty, there will be enough milk in the breast. Mm -hmm. yes. So why do some women produce more milk than others? Now, we only have... Is it the breast size? No, 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 no. I know of a lady who has very small breasts and she can produce like five liters in, a, in, in, in 24 hours. So it's not as the size of the breast. It is not. Mm -hmm. The same thing, demand and supply. And okay, they are actually... I know a lady who produces so much milk that it is not... Uh, the baby cannot take enough. So she was even thinking, can I be able to give this milk away? So some women, for sure, they'll produce more milk. But every woman will produce enough, baby, enough milk for their baby. Mm -hmm. That extra, sometimes you take the, tell them, put it in the fridge. Milk which is put, put in the fridge can be used later. And sometimes you say, when the baby is six months and you're weaning them, giving them some mashed food, then you can mash that food with the breast milk. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so very quickly, you know, for mothers out there who are watching and they're mm -hmm. going through this, you know, yes. what advice can you tell them? I'll tell them to relax. Mm -hmm. I'll tell them to sleep well. I'll tell them the best thing that they can do in motherhood is breastfeeding. Today it is, it is all nice and good because they can breastfeed for six months. And for six months they are bonding with their children. And it's such fun to breastfeed. They will just need support. They will need support system to help them. Well, I have a cracked nipple. Oh, I don't, I'm, don't think I'm, I'm, I'm producing enough milk. Just some reassurance. And, and, just, and what can you do with the, the crack? Are there any remedies I said, you can... I said when they have a crack, that breast needs to be rested. So they can express and give it a cup and spoon while that breast now rests. And, and what about before? Are, are there like maybe some ointments? <sighs> no, um, no, 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 no. Uh, so okay. it, it will just happen when the baby starts breastfeeding. Okay. That's when the, and, and the, and the, the, the babies crush the, the breast nipple because they are, being, they, they, they are, they are breastfeeding on the nipple, mm, okay. not on the bigger part of the black uh -huh. breast. Okay. Yes, the black, black part of the breast. Okay, thank you yes. so much, Nerea Ojanga, who thank is you. a <laughs> Lamaz expert. Thank you so much for coming and enlightening us with with this topic. Um, let's take a short break right here on K24 Evening Edition. We'll be right back.